Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out another Canary Channel build for this week. Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25931, which they made available on the 16th of August. Now this week, um, there's not too many front-facing features um, for your average home user, so to speak. And um, basically what's new in build 25931, first of all, um, there are new features from the dev channel, which include... Um, the new Unicode Emoji 15 support. Voice access is also available to use on more areas in Windows, such as the lock screen and more. And those are features that are coming over from previous Dev Channel builds. And if you want more info regarding the Dev Channel, just do a search accordingly on the channel, which will provide you with the relevant info. Now, the only new feature rolling out this week for the Canary Channel Insiders is mainly to do with system administrators in enterprises and corporations um, where the DC location will now no longer use NetBIOS WinS mail slot based its discovery by default. Now that's quite a mouthful, but the long and the short of all of this, um, according to Microsoft heading to our first example, is that these are basically legacy or older technologies, which according to Microsoft are no longer secure in today's environments, which means uh, in some corporate environments, these uh, Two technologies may still be important and so Microsoft says they are trying to ease the transition with some improvements to the DC locator algorithm in Windows starting with this canary channel build. So first of all they are blocking by default the use of NetBIOS WinS mail slot based methods for DC discovery. This behavior can be reverted with the use of a new group policy setting as we can see called NetBIOS based um, discovery, so NetBIOS based discovery, so that's the uh, group policy setting that you can use to revert all of that. Then moving on, um, they say that, please note, reversion should be considered only as a temporary measure um, while more viable longer term solutions are explored. So just take note of that if you are affected by this change. Now secondly, moving on to the next screenshot regarding this new feature. Microsoft says that secondly, they have added additional client-side logic to aid in the mapping of short NetBIOS-style domain names to DNS domain names, which consist of two parts. First of all, the DC locator will now automatically download additional information about the child domains in trusting forests and use that information as part of the discovery algorithm. And as a last resort, uh, in the second part, uh, as a last resort fallback and to accommodate unforeseen situations, forest administrators can manually configure a set of DNS to NetBIOS domain name mappings, which are also downloaded and used by DC locator during discovery. So that's a mouthful and that's mainly affecting system admins um, in this latest Canary channel build. Now that's the only so-called new feature, but there are a couple of changes and improvements and just a couple of quick mentions. Uh, the expiration date for Insider Preview Builds flighted to the Canary Channel has been updated to the 15th of September next year, 2024, starting with build 25931, which is obviously this week's build. And Microsoft says that please make sure you're updated to the latest build in the Canary Channel. Um, the File Explorer has received a couple of add-ons um, for more fields to show in the details pane which is a feature we are expecting to see roll out possibly with the 23H2 feature update. And then as I have posted on previously, dynamic lighting. Um, you can now sync your Windows accent color with the devices around you. And I'll leave a link to a video I did post on that with accent color being used on devices using dynamic lighting, which is a new feature being tested in the Insider program. And that's um, more or less what's new. And then they've also rolled out a major fix for a major issue which was a previous known issue. So if you are um, in the Canary channel, this may be um, relevant and of use, where they fixed a major issue where you could no longer connect over SMB to a third-party storage device using guest uh, credentials. So that's no username or password. And SMB stands for server message block. So that's more or less what's new in this week's latest Canary channel build 25931, which started rolling out on the 16th of August. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.